In this video, I'll be showing a few different ways of creating rhythms using some of the um, synthesized drum sounds that I showed in the previous videos. So first, I'm going to show So the first thing I'm going to show is one called Clock BPM that if we look inside of it what you'll see is that it's based around uh, a metro object and the first in inlet is just to turn it on. Um, it's the same as the standard metro and then what I've done here is the second inlet is um, it's taking the, essentially it's doing the speed and it's calculating from beats per minute down to milliseconds, which is what Metro uses. And then this expression here is actually turning it into 30 second notes. That way the Metro output outlet all the way to the right is outputting a 30 second note. Uh, essentially bang, it's doing a bang every 30 second note. And then from there, I've used um, this standard way. If you look up, uh, I don't know, sequencer or tutorials or something, they all seem to show this approach uh, where you have a counter that's counting and then the modulo is being used to set some kind of division. So the straight output is 30 second notes and then essentially I'm dividing that clock by two so it's doing 16th notes and then divided by four for eighth notes and so on. So when we have 30 second notes and we take 32 of them at a time, we have whole notes. And then we can set that number back to zero if we want to reset the whole thing. I can put the tempo in here if I want, or I can just set it as a input parameter like that. So I believe these are 30 seconds, 16th, eighth notes, these are quarter notes. So if I do this for a quarter note, Essentially what I'm doing here is I'm just making a really simple mixer where um, over time as I add more things to it, Um, so if we want to get a little more complex than that, um, next I'm going to show this that I called every N. And what it does is we hook a clock up to it and for every N clock signals it outputs a bang. So for example, if I say 5 um, and I this up here. It'll pass every fifth, sixteenth note in this case. And the second outlet is actually doing the opposite, so it will silence every fifth. If you look inside here, you'll see 
see that again it's doing this clocking and so the inlet is just receiving a series of bangs that counts and this time the modulo is actually just set by the second inlet uh, or by the argument and then you have um, a reset over here and that's all and so it's just out like it shows here it's, it's outletting every end and this is doing the opposite of every end Next, I'm going to show um, a Euclidean sequencer, I guess, a Euclidean rhythm generator. And this is based on something I found on the PD forum. Um, basically, you can find this, this part of it is uh, what was defined in the forum, and I modified it to do the counting so instead of receiving numbers it receives bangs um, yeah so then if you just have it take so why don't I take a let's call it a clip here. All right. we can give it an input where we say the pattern is going to be eight beats long and we want to fill in three of them for example and then we can also rotate it so that it starts and stops on different beats
So that's all. I just uh, wanted to show a couple different ways of doing rhythms. I hope you found this interesting. Uh, maybe for the end here, I'll just show these again in case you want to take a look at them.